If you vote by mail, how do you know your vote will be counted? It's a good question. It can feel nerve wracking to put your ballot in a mailbox or drop box and trust it gets to your election office. So PolitiFact talked with Republican and Democratic officials who run elections to understand how the process works. Making sure your absentee ballot is secure starts with the voter registration process. When you register to vote, we do things like confirm you're a real person. We do that by checking with the Social Security Administration, with the Motor Vehicle Division and other databases such that you don't just register Mickey Mouse or your dog or something like that. So there's no creating of fake people. States have different deadlines and requirements for submitting for absentee ballots. You should check the website for your county's election office to see what the requirements are in your area. If you've signed up for an absentee ballot, it will be mailed directly to you. Those ballot packets, again, go to confirmed addresses. They're not just put on the street. You can't just, you know, pick up some ballot packets from your library or your local grocery store or something like that. Once you've completed your absentee ballot, you can put it right in the mail or in a ballot drop box if your state allows them. Most states also allow you to track your ballot online with a barcode or another unique identifier. Some let you sign up for email or text updates about your ballot status. Well, I think it's important for voters to know that there are many, many places around the country where you can track the status of your absentee ballot as well. So if you've mailed your ballot back or if you've put it in a drop box, there are many ways for voters to contact their election officials. If I drop my ballot in the drop box and I don't get that message as a voter that should you know peak concern from me that maybe my ballot didn't get there or conversely if I haven't voted yet and I get that message then we that should peak my concern that you know something got crossed somewhere not necessarily that something is wrong or something you know nefarious is taking place but it's you know should be an indicator to me that hey maybe I should call the elections office and see what's going on with my ballot Election officials also track absentee ballots to prevent people from voting twice. So as soon as you send out that ballot packet, you send that back to us and we receive that, then we scan that ballot packet and we load a vote to your profile. That means if you then tried to show up and vote in person, you would already have a vote loaded to your profile. So once I've received your mail-in ballot back, you're going to be prohibited from voting at an early voting site or an election day site or even requesting another ballot and trying to re and vote by mail again. So we have a way to assure that you're only going to vote once. All ballots are handled by trained election workers who work in bipartisan teams. Across the United States, we have a bipartisan system for uh, the counting of our votes, which means that both political parties are at the table being represented as ballots are being counted, as voters are being processed, and even as certification decisions are being made Bipartisan teams are doing that work. They're regular everyday people. They simply volunteer to help us out with the election. They have to be U.S. citizens. They're registered to vote. They do go through a background check, criminal background check as well. And we hire them. We do pay them for their time and for their services. But these are regular everyday people. And the process for collecting ballots is closely monitored. Drop boxes are in many, many cases monitored by video surveillance. They are secure. And there is a chain of custody process that is followed when the drop boxes are emptied. And so that's really an important you know, element of the election security piece where you know, we know who has emptied the drop box at what time, how many pieces of, of uh, election mail were in that drop box when they emptied it. As far as the uh, secure ballot intake stations, in Florida, we're only allowed to have those secure ballot intake stations at early vote sites during early voting hours and at, at any of our offices. They also have to be uh, monitored at all times by someone from my office. Most states require signature matching to verify absentee ballots, which involves comparing the signature on your ballot to the signature on your voter registration. Some states use other ways to verify ballots, so be sure to check your state's specific requirements. Once we know you haven't voted somewhere else, we're gonna mark that you're voting by mail, and then we're going to check your signature. So the signature verification process, the people who are doing that have gone through the two-hour signature verification certification that's been certified by the state. And you know, by no means does it make us you know, handwriting experts, but it does teach us what we're supposed to look for in a signature to be able to know that that is the same person. And there's a standard in the, um, in the statute, you know, if it's beyond a reasonable doubt, we have to know that this voter is who they say they are and that we don't believe beyond a reasonable doubt that it's somebody else.
All of these steps ensure that your absentee ballot is counted correctly. Are you super busy but want to vote in person? Early voting might be for you. There are a lot of options for people who don't choose to vote by mail, but don't necessarily want to risk waiting until election day. And so I just think early voting is a really good option. What other questions do you have about how elections work? Let us know in the comments or send this video to a friend or family member who you think would find it helpful.